whole lot of people who don't do things just like they was, but didn't stay in the system. If I give Brunetta twenty dollars, Brunetta's gonna give tithe on the twenty dollars. If I give Arlene twenty dollars, she's gonna give tithe on the twenty dollars. That's the system. All your increase, whether you work for it or not, if God increase, you can give tithe. That's what people do. All right, God, somebody pray for me right now. I know I'm shutting off all the religious folk right now, but if you, you want to stay broke, just shut me off right now. If you're going to listen to that devil, keep telling you what you shouldn't do and you shouldn't get tired, shut me down right now. But I'm telling you from experience. Come on, Apostle. You are not glory to God. I'm going to say this boldly this morning, Joshua. You are not in God's system if you're not tired. That is awesome, Apostle. Jesus said you are tired. But don't forget to love also. So if I'm going to be in the system, it's God saying, how are you going to go and get into a, a Medicaid and get unemployment and all these things if you don't get taxes? That's good. That's good. That's good. If you're with me, say amen. Amen. You cannot, you, you are not in the system. I feel the Holy Ghost. I really need my head peace. You're not in the system if you're not doing it according to God's system of seed time and harvest. Let me ask you a question. What's hindering you from tithing? Mine, mine, mine. Mine, thinking. Mine. What's hindering you from giving seed? I see Pastor Pender go from. Yo, I get that. I've seen Gwinnett go through the toughest of times, but they stay in the system. Not the Baby, say amen. amen. Not only in giving, but in, in speech. Amen. They never allowed the circumstance to take them out of God's will. Amen. They kept declaring their righteousness in Christ. Anointed God is going to work them out. The first thing you and I have to do is get connected to tithing. Yes, sir. Amen. No yes, sir. I'm in the battle this morning. I'm fighting. Listen, I'm fighting with everything that happened. Peace is here this morning. Listen to me. As your apostle. Many of you have been here. You've seen all kinds of things. You've seen miracles. Everybody here knows there's so many changed lives, testimonies in here. That, that happens here. It happens here. But listen, in your personal life, if you want to have the best of life, you have to be in the system. Grace flows in the system. So if you want grace flowing towards you and God bless you to get a dollar, how is it troubling you to give a, a 10 cents to the church? A dime to be in God's grace. A dime to you to be in his grace. The problem with this is, it's easy to sow when we got $10. But when we got $200, on, $10 is too much to give. Y'all ain't here right Come on now, watch it. Oh, the pastor said give a dollar, 10 but if I get a 1000 now he's talking about giving a whole hundred dollars. Watch it now. You better watch your toes. I'm done. Am I happy you? You want your business to flourish? Yeah, but Paul said in Galatians chapter 6. He talked about sowing. He said, be not very and well do Because you shall reap, you shall reap, reap. What that means, reap, reap. That means it's a seed, right? You shall reap if you faint not. So those of you who have been sowing and giving tithe, be not weary in that. I've seen people do it for years, and now they're in the harvest. But if, they, if you're not connected to the system, how does that work for you? Are we here together? You can start today. I want to talk to people who want to win. If you want to win, say amen. amen. If you want to win, say amen. amen. You can start today and make a decision. I'm going to give my tithe come hell or high water. Now listen, listen, as I go, I've been honest with y'all. Sometimes preachers tell me I'm too honest with my members because everybody can't have honesty. There was a time in my life when I wasn't giving no time. I told my wife, the church wants your money. <laughs> we ain't giving no time. And she's been giving time all her life. And she got nervous and she was broken. But I was the head of the house. I don't know now that I look back. I think my wife was going to be having back then. But, 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 but. <laughs> That's why 
Bobby Blaster. Jerry Wayne, Jerry, take, take up my slide. So I understand how you can get to the place where you don't understand tithing. But I'll tell you what God spoke to me and some of y'all heard it before. When I was praying before God, I sat on the side of my bed. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me as clearly as I could hear me. He said, child, it's a trick of the devil. It's a stronghold if you don't tie. You cannot truly live with, with real expectation. Am I happy you are here? If you are not tithing, hear this preacher. These are the type of messages that make people leave church. But I got to do this. If you are not tithing, stop blaming everybody else and blaming God that you are not seeing.
God chose you. Why not trust them? Amen. Amen. Why not make the decision today? Amen. I'm just going to believe Lord, God. Lord. If God says I'm holy, I'm already holy. So I can't be concerned with the people around my house telling me I'm going to hell. Because they don't have a clue. Right. But God has this system of giving and receiving. Yes. Give, Jesus said, and it shall be given unto you. Press, Press down, shaking together, running over. Yes. Shall man, the niggas don't like you. <laughs> you got a shot, Give it to your bosom, because it never comes where you think it should. Amen. 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 Say that, Apostle. Don't wait for Jordan to bring it. It comes through Larry. So what I want you to do, gentlemen lovers, grab a hold of what I'm saying to you. And I want you, whether you're visiting this morning or a member of general, I want you to grab a hold of this. God chose you. You would not be in church if he didn't choose you. I don't care if you're visiting with somebody.